Top 10 Most Expensive Football Players The legendary Johan Krioff once said, I've never seen a bag of money score a goal. While this is true, a large sum of money can buy you an outstanding player. Football has seen several transfers that have exceeded the 100 million euro mark in recent years. As football clubs continue to spend, in today's video, we have compiled the list of the top 10 most expensive football players. So without further ado, let's get into it. Number 10 Kyle Walker, Manchester City, 53 million euros. Kyle Walker, the second Manchester City defender on this list, was briefly the most expensive specialist fullback in the world before City broke that record just days later by signing Mendy. Walker's time at Manchester City, on the other hand, is unrecognizable from Mendy's. The Englishman has developed into a key figure in Pep Guardiola's defense, demonstrating why City insisted on signing him from Tottenham Hotspur. Guardiola has used Walker in both roles, as an attacking fullback and as an inverted fullback, and both have helped him reap the benefits of Walker's ability. He is still one of the Premier League's fastest fullbacks, and his intelligence allows him to be deployed in various formations with varying responsibilities. Number 9 Benjamin Mendy, Manchester City, 57.5 million euros. Pep Guardiola had his worst ever league finish in the 2016 2017 season, so he wanted to oversee the squad's complete overhaul. He spent a lot of money on the fullback position, and as part of that, City paid 57.5 million euros for AS Monaco star Benjamin Mendy in the summer of 2017. Mendy has had a genuinely abysmal time in Manchester thus far. Since joining the Premier League, the Frenchman has missed an incredible 80 games due to injury, and even when he has played, Mendy has left a lot to be desired. His lack of defensive awareness and tendency to get beaten by opposing wingers saw him lose his place in the 11th to Alexander Zincheco and more recently Jao Cancelo. Unless Mendy's career takes a dramatic turn, the 26-year-old's transfer from Monaco will go down as one of the worst signings in recent history since he's delivered little to no impetus to this city side. Number 8 Rodri, Manchester City, 70 million euros Rodri was regarded as one of the most talented Spanish midfielders to emerge from La Liga Santander's ranks in recent years. So much so that his style of play and intelligence were compared to Sergio Basquets, with Rodri tipped to take his place in the future. Naturally, Pep Guardiola's Manchester City was interested in signing him, and they paid a club record of 70 million euros for his services. The Spanish international adjusted quickly to the Premier League space and intensity. He had an impressive debut season at the base of the former champions midfield, controlling tempo of play and effortlessly overseeing proceedings in the middle. Given his 6 foot 3 inch stature, the former Atletico Madrid star has added physicality and control to City's midfield. Number 7 Kepa Arizabalaga, Chelsea, 80 million euros. Following Thibaut Courtois' decision to join Real Madrid in 2018, Chelsea made Kepa the world's most expensive goalkeeper. However, after a promising debut season, the keeper's journey has been anything but smooth. The Spanish international had a disastrous 2019-2020 season, finishing as one of the Premier League's worst goalkeepers statistically. Kepa struggled in goal, allowing shots that would have been easy saves for more experienced keepers. Chelsea conceded more goals than any other team in the top half of the table, and Kepa eventually lost his starting spot to Vili Caballero. The fact that Chelsea is looking for a new number one ahead of the 2020-21 season sums up the 25 disastrous old season. Athletic Bilbao, his former club, emerged as the sole beneficiaries of the world record transaction. Number 6 Virgil van Dijk, Liverpool, 84.65 million euros. When Liverpool paid a world record fee for a defender to sign then Southampton centre half Virgil van Dijk, the eyebrows were raised. The Dutchman, who cost the Reds an eye watering 84.65 million euros at the time, has since established himself as the best central defender in the world. The game changing signing allowed them to assemble a successful squad on both the domestic and continental fronts. In 2018 2019, Liverpool won the UEFA Champions League and Van Dijk was named the best player in Europe for his valuable impact on the six-time European champions. 
The 29-year-old then led Jurgen Klopp's side to their first Premier League title in 2019-2020 with the league's best defensive record. Van Dijk's then world record fee for a defender has proven to be one of the most successful and transformative signings in all of football history, let alone the Premier League. Number 5 Harry Maguire, Manchester United, 87 million euros. Manchester United abandoned their well publicized pursuit of Napoli's Khalidu Koulibaly in 2019 to sign English defender Harry Maguire for a world record fee. After the Red Devils paid 87 million euros for former Leicester City midfielder last summer, he became the most expensive centre half in the world. Although he has yet to have a Van Dyke like impact on Manchester United, Maguire's defensive prowess has been prominent, as evidenced by the club's improvement in defensive numbers. He was appointed captain following Ashley Young's departure and has proven to be a reliable figure for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's side, who finished third in the Premier League in 2019-2020. There is a sense that Maguire has yet to justify why Manchester United paid such an astronomical sum for him. For the 2020-21 season, they are reportedly looking for a quick centre-half to partner with Maguire. Number 4 Paul Pogba Manchester United, 105 million euros. Do you know that the Red Devils paid 105 million euros to Juventus for their former midfielder in Jose Mourinho's first summer at the club? His performances and overall career at Manchester United have divided fans. While some argue that he has been at the heart of everything positive that the club has done in the troubled post-Sir Alexis Ferguson era, others including fans and experts have been critical of his performances. Pogba was always tipped to be a player capable of winning the Ballon d'Or and other coveted titles, and while he has, there is a belief that his contribution have left a lot to be desired because he is capable of more. After an injury-plagued season, Pogba had a fantastic second half of the season under Solskjaer, especially since Bruno Fernandes arrived. It remains to be seen whether Pogba will commit his long-term future to the club, but all indications point to the Frenchman staying at Old Trafford. Number 3 Cristiano Ronaldo, Juventus, $117 million. Cristiano Ronaldo was one of the most expensive players when Real Madrid came calling on then Manchester United star. Los Blancos paid 94 million euros for the Portuguese who led them to four UCL championships, two league titles, and became their highest scoring player in his nine years in Madrid. On the other hand, Juventus showed confidence in the then 33-year-old Ronaldo by paying a record 117 million euros for him in 2018. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner relocated from Madrid to Turin to assist the club in capturing the coveted UCL Cup, and so far, it's been a disaster. Ronaldo led Juventus to two Series A titles in two years, even though they were the Bianconeri's eighth and ninth consecutive league titles, demonstrating their domestic supremacy. Ronaldo has scored every goal Juve has achieved in the UCL knockout since his arrival, but has suffered significantly due to a lack of support from his teammates. Number 2 Kylian Mbappe, Paris Saint-Germain, $145 million Paris Saint-Germain went out to sign arguably the most talented teenager of the 21st century, Kylian Mbappe, making him one of the sport's three most expensive players giving PSG's pre-existing league one dominance. It would be unfair to judge the two stars signing solely on domestic accolades, as it was with Neymar. Despite concerns following a horrific injury in the French Cup final, the French prodigy made the difference for his club after being subbed on against Atlanta in the quarterfinals. Mbappe, 21, has already won league titles, a FIFA World Cup where he was named the best young player. It's safe to say that this is one of the most successful signings in recent memory, given that Bappe can only improve and win a few Ballon d'Or before retiring. Number 1 Neymar Jr. Paris Saint-Germain 222 million euros Barcelona superstar Neymar's purchase for a record fee of 222 million euros by French champions Paris Saint-Germain in 2017 sent shockwaves throughout the football world. After a stunning few seasons in Spain, the Brazilians was widely expected to be groomed by Lionel Messi to take over Argentine's new camp throne. However, 
several recurring complications arose as a result of this transaction. Neymar reportedly wanted to force a move back to Barcelona during his first two years in Paris, with Lionel Messi admitting that he would have welcomed the Brazilian back to the new camp. After a string of magnificent performances for the French club, Neymar has sparked PSG's European ambitions in the 2019-2020 season. Since 2017, this transfer has been used as a yardstick for many others, with clubs demanding exorbitant transfer fees for their players. With that being said, here we come to the end of our video. I hope you like this video. If so, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any video. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and thanks for watching.